Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's another episode of the Nuzlocke. As you can see here, it's a training episode. Um, because I was unable to get the right damn berry. It was RNG, man. So, what's uh, what's happening in this training episode is that I am training Yowie Mom. I'm training her to about a decent enough level. Um, I think she ends up being level 26. The reason I'm training her is because, um, if all else fails... Um, she's, I have to put her in the team for, um, lack of a better term, because she's the only other person that can actually hurt, uh, water types. Um, so yeah, she's gonna go on the team. Now, the unfortunate thing about her, she'd be able to take down Gyarados real easy, but the very unfortunate part is, um, she doesn't have Intimidate, which means... I don't know if you knew this about this specific, you know, Sphinx's evolutionary line, but their defense is shit. It is the worst. She currently has, like, I think 26 defense. So basically, one good move without the, without Intimidate is enough to basically um, almost kill her. So I'm probably going to have to train her up all the way to the final level. Not the final level. Uh, her final evolution, which that's going to take a while. This only goes to, I think, level 26 or so. Um, I've been real busy, so that's kind of why. I wanted to show at least the process of it, just so I, I need to get going back to doing other stuff. Um, but yeah, this this part of the Nuzlocke's in a weird place, because it's... For sure, my girl Grazy could handle the gym, but I just don't think I could do it without someone dying. Because if there's a chance someone... Someone knows an ice move, it's game over. The uh, Grazy literally can't handle any ice moves, and I'm pretty positive someone in there has to have an ice move. I think the three Pokemon he has are um, Gyarados, Qu Quagsire, and Float Seal. So, of those three, Gyarados could know it, and um, Float Seal could potentially know it. Um, and it's just not a risk I'm willing to take. I don't think they would know Ice Beam. I sure as hell hope they don't know Ice Beam, but, you know, something to worry about. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep looking for that berry. Keep training my sister. She needs to be a very high level. She needs to basically outspeed everyone if she's going to stand a chance, because, my god. And she almost dies multiple times in this training video, by the way. It was by the luck of god that she did not die. Um, she just has such low defense, but she, she's really all I have left. No one else can really handle, um, water types, unfortunately. It's just how the cookie crumbled in this specific exchange. I do, I also did make sure to not train in the area right next to it, because there's a Pokemon I could potentially catch. Um, I actually don't know if there's a Pokemon, I need to actually check. Um, but, um, there's actually three routes. The route that goes down, and that little break is a considered a different route from the one down below. So I can totally catch another Pokemon there. And the Pokemon I did run into while fighting there are, um, ones I already caught, so they wouldn't have count anyway, so. Perfectly fine. Oh, man. I hope you guys have been doing well, by the way. Moving our way for the Nuzlocke. I'm pretty sure I'm almost at the point where I'll just be pumping them out to beat it you know um we're almost at the half yeah we're almost at the halfway point um there's not much else though i'm basically going for pokemon league and then once i become champion that is the end of the game <laughs> these videos are actually extremely hard to record and um i have to put a lot of thought into it because it's like I have to actually edit it down. I have to do some magic of it so it's not like over an hour long for everyone to watch. And I guess I could move on to hour long episodes, but you guys really do not want to see hour long episodes of specifically Pokemon. Um, so I'm going to keep with the. I also like the editing of it. They've gone a little bit um, simpler over time, but you know, I like throwing in what I can at the time. I also feel like they flow a little bit better when they're edited, because it's just like, quick, quick, quick. And I'm not like, 
It also helps with the recording too, because I'm not like talking for a straight hour straight, just going like constantly on. I can think a little bit more about my jokes and about where to put them. Um, so they end up being easier for me to record in that way. You know, goods and negatives to every form of like recording stuff. Stuff you don't really think about. Um, it's different from compared to Paper Mario, who is a, that is a story heavy RPG, and also Tales of Symphonia, which I had to unfortunately stop Tales of Symphonia because it was driving me nuts because I forgot how crazy long Tales of Symphonia is, and the editing of it just would not work out. I'm probably gonna end up streaming it once I have a better um, streaming schedule that I can go on. I haven't abandoned it, of course. I always am thinking about like, oh man. I just have to come back to this later. Like, for example, Paper Mario, which I was planning to come back to at some point. Which you can check out if you're so interested in seeing more of me. Uh, man. I wonder if I'm going to be actually able to beat the Pokemon League. Hmm. You know, based on the current team and based on how we're going... I would be very surprised if we beat them without suffering huge casualties. It feels just like it's just way harder than I was expecting. And I've just also been getting very unlucky in some cases. Like sometimes it's just like, oh man, why did this happen? This is the worst case ever. But it's only, um, it's only going to be here for a little bit, so. No, what was I talking about? I don't remember. Oh, they, I saw Sophia completely made me forget. Man, I'm tired. No. Oh. How you guys doing, by the way? Hope you having a good um, day. Things continue to be crazy for me, of course, but you know, handling stuff, doing my best. The best is the the most I could ask for, so that's what I try and do. This song's pretty good too. I bet um, I've been playing a little bit of uh, the Yakuza games. I finished Yakuza 2 pretty recently. And then I moved on to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to be playing Valhalla because uh, uh, it's 100 hours long apparently. <laughs> Which is way more than what I signed up for. So, that for sure made me want to go like, oh man, maybe I should rethink this entire thing of playing this entire game, but I don't know. I, I did it because I needed a break before I go into 3, because 3 plays like old Yakuza games. So, I didn't want to go from the brand new Yakuza game into the one that plays like the old one. Like, I'll rem I, I don't have problems with old styles of combat, I just need to be in the right mindset for it, so... And not have the muscle memory of the old ones, so. And I think with the song being over, I think that's my cue to say goodbye, everyone. I also didn't change the Pokemon thing because I just don't have it. I'm too busy, man. I'm off to go do other things. You guys enjoy your day. I hope you enjoyed this video. It is just a training video, but hey, it's important that I show this too. Until next time, everyone. See you guys later. Bye-bye.